sound, motion, anything from a branch of a tree to a cloud to a human body, for example. That's where I draw some of my inspiration from. It started basically as curiosity. Like I used to collect a lot of rocks when I was a kid and my father had brought home a piece of stone and he had polished it. I was very fascinated by the inside of the stone in comparison to the outside of the stone and gradually it evolved from that. You start basically with an idea, then you do a sketch, and then you uh, take that sketch, make it into a model like this, and that model then goes and is developed into a full-scale three-dimensional form. And the ideas are generally very spontaneous. Sometimes I will not even use a sketch to do a piece. One thing that I really try to do is use as much local material as possible in my work. If it's not totally local material, it's material that has been acquired here from people who either make it or sell it. And that's, that's the big point for me. I hope my work inspires people. I hope it opens up possibilities to every other human being. I don't know what those possibilities could be, but it's just I hope that there's something that wakes up the potential in another human being. <laughs>